Um, all right, so next one's from uh, Jason Turpin. The subject is CMLL. Uh, I have a couple questions about CMML for Conan or, or the birthday boy, if he's on this week. Last month, Conan talked about how Tessa Blanchard had a lot of heat with girls in different promotions that he didn't think she would sign anywhere soon. Days after saying this, uh, Conan's rival CMLL announced they were bringing her in. Over the weekend, Tessa won the CMLL Grand Prix, and CMLL appears to be setting her up in a program with their top star, Stephanie Vacker, for care. What do you think about CMLL bringing in Tessa and booking her strong? Second question, Stephanie Vacare and Thunder Rosa made an Instagram post together requesting the fans to tag the bosses of AW and CMLL to make a match between them happen. Kind of weird way to build heat for a match. Tony Khan always seems open to using other talent, using talent with other promotions. So does Thunder Rosa have an issue with the bosses at CMLL? Thanks, and that's from Jason Turpin. P.S. If AAA and CMLL ever do business, I'd like to see La Hiedra versus Vacare. That's real heat. You can pontificate on this, Conan. That, that's a pop. Well, Stephanie Backer is a Backer. girl from Chile. Yeah, that supposedly this guy choked her, right? right. Um, he's in oh, jail. Oh, the guy dude, that's against the jail. The rest of us in jail, right. right? Yeah. And La Yedra is dating his brother and has cut publicly said that this chick is lying or something like that. Really? Yeah. Well, that would be real heat, obviously. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, what do you think about yeah, Tessa? La Yedra is a tough people. <laughs> what? What do you think about Tessa? Uh, so this guy yeah. saying that I said nobody would sign Tessa and then CMLO signed her. Bro, I said United States, not Mexico. Right. Bro, yeah, and she signed on a per day. She's not on a contract. Everybody knows she's a good wrestler, but American politics don't translate here. All that. SJW, Snowflake, Virtue Signaling, you do here has, no, and I love it because they get mad. Oh, I can't believe they're using this guy in Mexico. Oh, I can't believe Conan. And I, bro, you have no idea how much I pop for that. Because <laughs> no mob lynching mentality doesn't work in Mexico. And I love every second of it. So they don't know what she did in Mexico and that in the United States, they don't get, you know, uh, uh, you know, they're booking her strong. She just won some tournament, but those people over there are very jealous because they don't like people coming from the outside and beating them. Get used to it. Did you, you know ever, she can work? What? No, go ahead. Go ahead. What? I was going to say, did you ever consider bringing her into AAA? Did you kind of stay away because of the rep she had in? The she last wasn't year? AAA before. I mean, did you since since that incident? Did you ever consider? No. Why would I bring her in, bro? She was very disrespectful. She was like, "Oh, the only reason I'm." In Mexico is because of Daga. Really? Okay. Oh, and well. why do you guys do this? And why do you guys do that? I go, because, okay, newsflash, this is Lucha Libre, not U.S. wrestling. So, you know, if you want to watch that, that's what really? you Really? So she was so, a problem, and, huh? Yeah. And, and, bro, it would be very uncomfortable after the way they got separated that she'd mm. be in the same dressing room with him. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to put him in that position. Yeah. Oh, wait, so they're not dating anymore. They were married. Wait, Tessa and Daga? Yeah. yeah. So what what happened? Well, I, she hooked up with some other guy and he found out. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Like uh, uh, one of the boys. Right. That's 